All right, how's it going? I'm Aaron Hallett. I write original Christian rock. My microphone's crooked. Without any idea for a melody or anything, I put down some lyrics before I came out here. Sometimes I do that, just like if I'm sitting around doing nothing, I'm like, might as well just grab my phone and do that. I've got that going, but um, as far as the original part of that Christian rock thing, it's just making stuff up. A lot of improvising. So, I put on my cleaner, cleaner sound, because usually it's a heavily distorted sound. <laughs> I kind of want to have a snappy kind of sound. I go with the first thing I play, so I think that works. What am I doing? B. Verse or chorus? Probably verse. So I'll do D. So root Six, five. So one, three, six, five. The drum loop is gonna be playing. That's my metronome until I play a drum part. I don't think it's the final part or anything. Here I go, I guess. I'll just play verse and chorus and feel out how long I want the parts to be. I just randomly played a tapping riff on the right side just to do something different than the left. I'm just gonna play distorted chords, more distorted chords in the chorus. I'm gonna tweak those first guitars a little bit. I just like very quickly made the patch because I knew I just kind of wanted to do something with a slightly cleaner tone, but I feel like I got a little much, too much drive on it. There we go. That's more what I was hearing in my head. thing I was slightly contemplating. Oops. Okay, maybe I'll just do that. Like, how do I forget things immediately? Okay, so I'm gonna do this with this sound and then I'm gonna fish around for something. Maybe this one even works, but I'll see. If this makes sense, but I kind of want a more like slightly crystal sound. There is literally a setting called chime. Let me see what that is. That's good. So now I'm going to jump back to normal operating mode here and just do a guitar solo. I feel like this song just calls for a dead easy dumb bass line. So All right, I'm going to play drums and I feel like just sitting right here and playing on my uh Yamaha multipad. I cannot get the camera in the right spot. How cool is that thing? Whole drum set on a little table tap pad. I got two kick pedals that I use as a double bass. Two kick pedals. All right, since I've already got lyrics here, I just started uh, improvising a melody and doing it as a warm up, and I saved it on here. was a little different than what I had done on the other part. Um, I think it came out decent. 
the first chorus is a little different. Actually, they're all kind of different. Anyway, that's how I put my songs together, though. It's a bunch of improv- ugh, improvisation. Take these off. Probably got black specks on my ears. I occasionally do. If you ever see that, these things are falling apart. The lyrics will be in the bottom of the, the description box. The uh, middle of my description box has where you can find me online, purchase and stream my music. Spotify, Amazon, iTunes. Those are probably the top ones. YouTube music too. The top thing I've got is Bible teaching. That's PastorMelissaScott.com. That's there because it's really great Bible teaching. Everything else I've ever seen online, especially, is just not good. <laughs> Some things people might think are really good because they're like, oh, this is really traditional and etc. That doesn't necessarily mean it's good. It just means it's traditional. Traditional just means there's a bunch of baggage piled on. Real Christianity mentioned in a Bible isn't what most people think it is. You don't know that until you have someone that can actually analyze translate from the original language, get a bird's eye view of it, take text in context, suss out what it's about without doing it bound by all those extra tra traditions and add-ons and things. Even our language frame messes things up. The one I usually do mention, which is said, understanding that I'm not trying to teach anything here per se, but just as an example, in our language, faith is a noun, or you'll often see belief, which is a verb. Problem being, New Testament Greek, pistis is not belief, because belief is just the mental ascent, nor is it faith, because that's just a noun. So they like to make it faithing, turn it into a verb. It's an action based on a belief sustained by confidence. So what that means is I can sit on the ground, believe that a parachute would support me if I jumped out of a plane. That's the mental ascent, but I'm not actually doing it. The Greek frame, which it was written, you're not actually faithing in that parachute until you're up on the plane, hopping out of the thing and repeatedly doing it, gaining confidence that it will safely land you on the ground. That doesn't mean uh, it's like a works type thing either. That just means there's a lot of promises in the Bible. You grab hold of that and act on it in spite of what the circumstance around you says. That's a thing that most people just don't even get the concept of, and they're thinking they are believing, but they're not really getting the full picture. So it's great teaching. I can't say enough about it. And like I said, that language thing is really important. And just having someone that's not going to cram traditional stuff down your throat is also good. So I put it there. If you want to check it out as a resource, go for it. As far as my stuff, you can subscribe, like, comment, share. You'll keep seeing me, keep hearing my music. That's it for today. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, my friend.